Hey there, YouTubers and collectors. This is Salvador Los Angeles here with my personal video review of Scott Ian, classic action figure by Biff Bang Pow. Of course, Scott Ian is the lead singer of world famous rock group Anthrax. Of course, I mainly know Anthrax for doing their duet with, uh, was it Public Enemy? That's right, they did the Public Enemy duet. And I'm drinking white. Uh, white. That's how much I've had. I don't even know the difference. Drinking red wine. All right. This is ages 14 plus. Back of the packaging. And it says, Scott Ian, classic action figure. Scott Ian is the co-founder, rhythm guitarist, and face of the iconic metal band Anthrax. He's an extremely recognizable figure in the worlds of music, poker, comics, movies, and television. Now, I wonder if they knew that when they wrote, he's an extremely recognizable figure, quote-unquote, they knew they were being tongue-in-cheek. Or maybe not. This is made by Biff Bang Pow, also EMCE Toys. And it looks like the year is... Uh, 2010, so this thing is not that old, a couple years old. Hey, it says here, uh... I said, I read North Hollywood, yeah. A unit of J... Yeah, Biff Bang Pow, a unit of JLA Direct, Raymer Street, North Hollywood. Hey, this is right near me. All right, this is Salvador Los Angeles reviewing Scott Ian Classic Action Figure by Biff Bang Pow. Check it out. I would definitely say that this is done in the tradition of the old Mego style. The articulation is really cool. You got all the head, you got the shoulder, you got the elbows, you got the waist, hip, a knee, and you got foot. Uh, it doesn't do the ankle rocking thing, but it does have a hinge joint. Wrist articulation. Let's not miss these tattoos on his legs. Great looking evil face on his leg. More design here. Great looking leg tattoos. But here's the back of him. Nice looking figure. Let's see what he looks like underneath his clothing. Let's take off Scott Ian's clothing. There's a big ball joint there. I just took off his clothing and said he's got a big ball. That's nice. All right, got some abs there. Not going to show you that. But they is not anatomically correct. And these shoes do come off, I believe. There we go. Yeah. Shoes do come off. The shoes are kind of nondescript. I don't even know if this is the kind of shoes that he really wears. There's nothing on the bottom, very plain. So the shoes you can take on and off. That's what Scott Ian's feet look like. Put him back in the shoe. I feel like the prince on Cinderella now. There we go. It seems like a lot of figure collectors are not, are not in favor of real cloth clothing. I am. I think it's real fun and gives it that uh, true-to-life feel. Uh, he's got the goatee there. Look at that long goatee. Reminiscent of, if you remember the old Batman show, you had King Tut, the supervillain. He had a, a, a real long beard like that. Uh, the head doesn't go back or forth, but does twist around, but is limited by his long goatee, so you can't really go 360. I'm about to do, to do an homage to Grimm's Toy Show. This is his face. That was for you, Grimm's Toy Show. All right, this isn't, you know, this is not a NECA figure. It's not a McFarlane figure. You're not going to get that awesome detail that you get on those figures, but it is a fun figure. This is a bald head. The guitar in the back, I believe, is called Jackson. See that? Jackson of Jackson Charvel Manufacturing Incorporated. And it does say Jackson there on this part of the guitar. I don't know what you call that, that part of the guitar. Nice looking guitar. I, not the greatest. I mean, I, I have seen uh, better. The strings are not, uh, they don't have individual strings, which I have seen on figures before. It does say not there. I don't know what that means. But a nice looking guitar. Let's put this on him and see what he looks like. All right, here he is standing with his guitar. Very nice looking fun figure. Again, you're not going to get the detail that you're going to get on a McFarlane or on a NECA figure. But definitely a fun figure. Yeah, the ankles are kind of loose, so he doesn't you gotta position him perfectly.
I remember what the song was now. It was Anthrax with Public Enemy, and the song was Bring the Noise. Uh, yeah, Bring the Noise. That was a song, Anthrax and Public Enemy, P.E. Let me have another sip real quick. I'm becoming an alcoholic right before YouTube's eyes. All right, everybody. This has been Salvador Los Angeles. Salvador Los Angeles. How many S's you got there? Review of Biff Bang Pow's Scott Ian Anthrax figure. I appreciate you watching. See you next time.